<laughs> She's so cute. We've got the busiest airport in the world. You've heard this before, and if you frequent Hartsville Jackson International Airport, you've probably also been welcomed aboard the plane train. But just who is behind that B as in Bravo voice you hear while riding? Liza Lucas takes a trip to find out. Every day, over 250,000 excited, exhausted, and even on edge travelers rely on this voice. Welcome aboard the plane train. To guide them to their gates. The next stop is for tea gates. And the woman behind that reassuring voice, Atlanta resident Sharon Feingold. Sorry. I'm like, when I hear the voice, I'm like, I can't, I can't focus. I know, but I'm like, it's com It's like hearing like an echo of your own voice. Believe it or not, the journey to becoming voice of the plane train all all started on an airplane. I happened to be on an airplane and was reading and there was a whole article about this whole infrastructure down here and there was the name of a, a guy. I thought, well, let me just reach out to him and just see if he has any plans to do anything with the boys. And of course, Sharon wanted to make sure her plane train announcements were anything but plain. This is a driverless train. People want to feel confident in technology. And so I felt like splitting the difference between a real person and having a little bit of a robot edge was the kind of right combination. No way. That t it takes a second, right, for people to make the connection. Welcome aboard the plane train. How often have you heard this lady before? Oh, I hear her every day. Every day? Every day for the last two years. Well, I have to introduce you over here. This, this is her right oh, hey, Whether or not riders made the connection between Sharon's voice and the plane train is up in the air, but the role is nevertheless a special one for Sharon. What's your name? Del Reese. The next stop is Concourse D. D is in Del Reese. And before we wrapped up our own ride on the plane train, we had to put the voice of the train to the test with an 11 Alive WXIA TV sign off. The next stop is Concourse W, W as in WXIA. Please hold on, this train is departing. That's her. That, that's her. Wow, that that's is. Her. Yeah. That is just that's way <laughs> cool. I mean, as somebody who travels a lot, I'm like, <laughs> I want to meet her now. Do, wow. do people, when they meet her, do they recognize her? I mean, we saw a few folks did, but. Exactly. Well, she says no, and that's because she actually changes her voice mm -hmm. depending on the project that she's okay. working on. Mm -hmm. So if it's HGTV, you'll have one Sharon mm -hmm. voice, and if it's Nickelodeon, obviously a totally different one. Wow. But that, just a couple clues of where else you might have heard her before. Yeah. yeah. I always thought it was a computer. Like that. Yeah. 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 I'll I take a burger a with no fries. Yeah. Exactly. Be like, what? <laughs> yeah. B as in burger. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> this is a, actually a really big honor for her. She grew up here. Her mom's from here. Wow. Grandmother's from here. So deep Atlanta roots. That's huge. So that's that's huge, like that's you huge. said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I first moved to Atlanta, my, when my daughter and I got on the train, we were like, "Ooh, we're on the plane train." It was like <laughs> so unique that voice and everything. Thank you, Liza, for no bringing problem. your story to us. It was us. a fun story. one. All right, Chesley, on to you and the fog and the rain. Yeah.